With our art and storytelling, we typically communicate the fragile coexistence between humans and nature. There is quite often a gap between what we know and how we act. These days we have most likely more knowledge than ever about our planet, but we still really haven't figured out how to live with nature and not against it. With our art projects, we hope to inspire awareness, instill hope, and spark an interest for our vulnerable coexistence with nature. We are an artist duo that have been working together since 2016. We use photography, film, and sometimes installations to create spaces and projects trying to raise this awareness for our living world. We mostly work site-specific. We get it out with our cameras and sound equipment, trying to capture as much information as we can. We keep coming back to the same place to get beyond that first impression. It might be five times or 20 times. I think it's about witnessing that very place without any expectations. I started out as a freelance photographer in 1985 and I became affiliated with National Geographic in 91. I always loved to describe hidden worlds, rare species and secluded parts of ecosystems and cultures. The power of nature juxtaposed to the fact that nature in the world today often is fragile and under severe pressure has been an integral part of my storytelling for over three decades. And this has resulted in many books, films, exhibitions, and not least cover stories for National Geographic. I have always loved to create atmospheres and confined worlds. I started as a conceptual interior designer where I got to build stories with the help of light, color, and sometimes even scent. After some years, I started to photograph the setting and to create a story within that space. Later on, as I studied art, philosophy and different awareness practices, I realized that I could use this knowledge and the techniques to create an even stronger sense of awareness in these worlds I created. The dynamic range of the GFX 100S, the image quality, the color fidelity and the rich shadow detail works great for our projects. It really enables us to do our images and art exactly the way we want. It's a kind of a less is more project. It's not about something far flung, super exotic, endangered or extreme in any way. It's a project about seeing nature in a way that merges that external vision with the inner vision. It's a meditative and mindful way of looking at your surroundings with an edge of nostalgia, surrealism and presence. Many of the images we create with the GFX 100S are meant for assembling the feeling of actually being in the landscape. Being able to create these large size artworks not limited by technique is a bliss. Vi hittar den plats nära vårt hem som vi fortsatte att återvända till. Det var viktigt för oss att hitta vårt sätt att tolka Medelhavet. En så stor yta och så många dimensioner att utforska. Medan vi betraktade havet från samma plats i dagar, veckor och till och med månader så insåg vi att vi dras till två specifika tillstånd. Dels när havets yta är len och drömsk, nästan impressionistiskt abstrakt. Och dels när havet är vilt och obevekligt som i en gammal oljemålning. Vi började utforska den dubbelheten och det resulterade i tre olika verk. En filminstallation där vi arbetade med den föränderliga vattenytan. 
och två panoramiska verk som vi ville skapa för att kunna återge känslan av att blicka ut genom ett fönster för att där möta havet. We continue our search to describe the natural world in ways we haven't before. It's sometimes difficult to talk about and show ideas and concepts that are subtle. We are grateful that we get this opportunity to create artworks with the intention to inspire a more mindful view towards life. In the end, it's about doing what you believe in, and our story definitely starts with opening up from the inside and exploring the realms of the unknown. (laughs) 